Hello everyone, this is Calvin Castein. It's Wednesday, February 4th, 1987. We're at Shazy Central for a varsity basketball game featuring the home team, the Shazy Eagles and the visitors. The bad guys dressed in black. The Knights from Danamora. And now before I get occupied with other Less important matters, I'll read off the varsity cheerleaders. They include Chris Habib, Julie Bell, Aaron Egan, Lisa Barcombe, Julie Boer, Nicole Lapierre, Carrie Ladd, Kathy Barcombe, and alternate Amy Matat. Also, Emo the Eagle, the Eagle, otherwise known as Rob Roberts. Voice of the Cougars over there, Lori Lafave. Daisy coached by Andy Landry. And I will not read off the players right now because they have the habit of reading them all off and then I end up just duplicating things. But if they don't read them all off, then I will read them. Two five four four six one. Check the tickets at home. I just thank Danamora for contributing, and we have a winner over here. One of the local teenagers. For Danamora. Number 44, Pete Light. 44, Pete Light. Number 14, Jason Waugh. 14, Jason Waugh. Number 45, Steve Pierce. 45, Steve Pierce. Number 11, Jamie Smart. 11, Jamie Smart. Fifteen, Ron Kuchar. Number thirty-three, Harold St. John. Thirty-three, Harold St. John. Number thirty-one, Gary Donovan. Thirty-one, Gary Donovan. Number twenty-four, Darren Whiteman. Twenty-four, Darren Whiteman. Number thirty-two, Sam Huckabee. Thirty-two, Sam Huckabee. Two, Pat Dixon. Twenty one, Craig Eric. Twenty one, Craig Eric. Number ten, Marty Pombrio. Ten, Marty Pombrio. Number thirty, Mike Dixon. Number thirty, Mike Dixon. And twenty three, Pat Patnode. Coach, Coach Paul Leahy. Now for the Eagles. Number four, Todd Hosler. Number three, four, Mark Blaze. Thirty-four, Mark Blaze. Number three, Steve Monty. Three, Steve Monty. Number thirty-two, John Gravel. Thirty-two, John Gravel. Number thirty, Toby Kip. Thirty, Toby Kip. 14, Kip Ladd. 24, Rob Landry. 24, Rob Landry. 12, Mark Tisdale. 40, Tom Lapeer. 42, Emo. Emo. Chris Kuhlman, number 22. Number 10, PJ Gondek. PJ Gondek, number 10. 
20 to Dave Kipp. Blair Villamare, number 33. Neil West, number 44. Coach Andy Landry. Like Danamora wants to get the last word in before the game starts. Chasey with their work cut out for him tonight as Denimora team a powerhouse. Offering tip taken by West and Chasey controls. West drives the baseline, knocked down and they go to Chasey. Nice block there by Dixon, Pat Dixon. There are two Dixons in the lineup. For Denimar. I assume that Pat and Mike Dixon are brothers. There have been a lot of memorable brother combinations in local basketball circles at varying times. Thinking of Dana Moore, the two that come to mind, of course, are the Recor brothers, Jim and John. Back in the early 1960s, they also had a Hal Recor, but he didn't play as much as his brothers did. Powerful Denimora team back then with Tom Welch, Butch Wing, Jack Keroy. And the Recourt wins 2-0 Denimora leads. 
Other memorable brothers, I remember the Finneys of Peru, Bob and Bill Finney, who both went on to star at Syracuse University. Bob was a sophomore when Bill was a junior. And at Ellenberg, they've had the Labarge brothers on two occasions, Larry and Gary, and Larry, excuse me, uh, Gary and Fran. Larry Villamera ties it. In fact, one of them, uh, Larry Labarge, is here tonight, cheering for Shirley Z. Two two in the opening minutes here. Crazy ball. West this is off the kip. Somebody's foot. Crazy ball. Back to Gondek. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. We're tied at 2 2. Romare follows. Dixon gets the board. Umbriel passed up ahead. Not sure if there's a three second violation or an out of bounds. Anyway, it's a turnover and it's Jay Z's ball. Blocked. Only one, Eric had a hand on that one. Dixon gives it back to Pombrio. Basket up and in by Patnode. 4-2, Denimora leads. Kip off the glass. Nice play by Dave Kip. Makes it 4 4. For the game, Jay Z coach Andy Landry corrected me on something that I had corrected myself on earlier in the week, but it bears repeating. And that is the charge violation uh, following a shot. A player. Gets a shot off and lands on somebody drawing an offensive foul. I believe that was Dixon who put that in. Makes it 6-4. Up until a couple of years ago, the rule was the same everywhere. Blocked by Patno, but he's going to be called by a, for a foul by John Musso. And Chris Kilman will step to the foul line. It used to be at all levels, if you got the shot off and then landed on top of somebody, uh, and the bow went in, the basket counted whether it was a charge or not. But now on a high school level, the player has to land on the floor. Otherwise, the basket is negated. And putting that simply, if you make the, make the shot, that was a basket by Eric, which you eight for. To make the shot and then land on top of somebody before landing on the floor, even though you got the shot off before the foul, the shot does not count. Jay Z's going to have to hit from outside to stay in this game. Rebound Villamare. Because they're not going to get too many second shots. Have a foul. 
I believe it's on number 10, Pombrio. Schumann will inbound it. Gets it back to Kip. We have three minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter. Damore leading 8-4. We have Lapeer in the game. His turnaround shot is off the mark. Lapeer giving West a break. Denimore a ball. This is Pat Dixon at the foul line. She hits. Up and in, I'll make it 11 to four. That was number 23, Pat Node. Lapeer gets a shot off, no good. Denimore a ball. Mike Dixon misses. Patnode follows and puts it in. 13-4. Denimore is starting to pull away. Crazy coach Landry calling a timeout before things get too far out of hand. 2.05 remaining in the first quarter. away with it. John Deck. Foul will be on John Deck. Pombrio drives and puts it in. I'll make it 15 for a minute 10 to go in the first quarter. Blocking foul on Pat Dixon. Swayze's ball underneath. Kuhlman will toss it in. Is it the Gondek? Gondek from the side. In, yes. 15 to 6. Woo! 
Umbrio, no good. Up and in by Pat Patnode. 17-6, we're down to 33 seconds in the first quarter. Double dribble on Mike Dixon. 29 seconds to go in the first period. Dondek gives it to Kip. by Eric and the score after one period of play Dana Mora 19 Shazy 6 Blaze in the lineup. Oh, good. West off the glass, nice move. Nineteen eight. Travel, I believe, yes. Controlled by Blaze. Jump ball is Danamora's turn. Pombrio inbound it. Basket by Patnode, 21 to 8. by Tom Lapeer. Asked by Pat Dixon, 23-10. Lapeer, no good. Go down Blaze, just block. Blocked by Eric. This is Mike Dixon on the fast break. He's fouled by Gondek. Twenty-five ten is the score. Five fifty-nine remaining in the first half. Nixon with a chance for a three-point play. No good. A 
Pat Dixon puts it in. Foul will be on Mike Dixon. Here, 27 12. Rebound Lapierre gives it up to Gondek. Gondek dishes off to Blaze. Lapierre rebounds. Blaze sitting on the floor says, What about me? Lapierre will go to the foul line. 5-17 left in the first half. Eagles trade the night, trail the Knights by 15, 27-12. Lapierre hits the first. Here, and it's going to be a foul called on it. A little too aggressive. Lapierre called for going over the back. Kip is in, and Villamare is in. West and Grandek are out. Patno kept trying until he put it in, 29-14. Dixon, 31-14. Blaze couldn't find a handle on it. Here, no good. Down Dixon. Down Tom Lapierre. He's battling under those boards. They've kept. Decides to stay out of the trees. Schumann penetrates. Eric. Blocked it twice, second time he'll call for a foul. Benamore leads by 17, 31, 14. 324 to go in the first half. Chris Kuhlman at the foul line. Offensive foul, I believe, Kuman the fouler. Oh, 
West is back in the game. Eric hits, 32-15. Three fifteen. Basket by Dixon. by Pombrio. Up ahead to Dixon, traveling. 35-15. Rondek replaces Lapeer. Whoop. Go traveling on Dave Kipp's part. On deck, I believe. This is Pat Dixon at the foul line. No good. Chris Habib taking souvenir photographs of the opponents. 36-15. off the glass, 36-17. Dixon over the back. Minute 13, Blair Villamara will go to the foul line. Dixon will sit in Huckabob. We'll report in. Villamara hits the first of two. Actually, a one and one. It'll be the first of two now. 36-18. Hits them both, 
Call for three seconds. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Truman. 36-21. Kip comes away with it. We have 23 seconds to go in the first half. John Deck with a long one, no good. Rebound was controlled by Patnode. Eric from the side. Two seconds. In the baseball net. 36-21. There's a halftime score. Danamora leading the Eagles. And it's time now, of course, for the solid green dancers.
half is beginning. We have a couple of volunteers, Tammy St. Louis and Lori Lafayette, to do the play-by-play. -play. So here they are. Hi, I'm Lori, and this is Tammy. Hi. Okay, we, here we go. Looking inside, looking inside. That's it. Shot by number 23, and it's in by Pat Patno. Look, shot by, by LaPierre, and in for two. Move by Eric. Ooh, banker off. Nice save by LaPierre. Come on, Eva. coming down quick. Watch the follow, watch the follow. Watch the follow in there, ref. Let's get on the ball. Craig Eric on the drive. Ooh, Pat Node with the rebound. Oh, underhand for two. Knees on. Neil looking inside to appear. Oh, turn. Oh, and for two. Beautiful move. Let's eat him up. Let's go. Not play ball here. Craig Eric with the jumper, in for two. Woo. Lucky shot, lucky shot. West on the drive. Ooh. Ooh, nice drive. That was Marty Pombrio on the make. This is definitely a really physical game inside. Look at this rebounding. Look at that. Pat note up and in. Ooh, Eric with the hack. Nice try, Brown. Nice try. Gun deck looking inside with the shot. Ooh. Rebound zone shot. Up again. And in. Danmore quickly down the court. Pat Node. Ooh. Steps. All right. Got him now. Cumin with the ball. Ooh. Ooh, yes, yes. Well, I don't agree with that one. Come on, ref, don't fall asleep. Neither does anybody else. Eric on the drive. Oh, rejected by Wes. With the jumper, yeah, in for two. Lucky shot. Dave Quick kept quickly down the floor. 
Nice break by Danamora. That was Mike Dixon. Looking in at Neil. Dave Kip. Ooh. I think there could have been a foul on that one. That was blocked by Pat Patnode. Craig Eric once again pulls up for the jumper and two again. You gotta have to come out on that guy, I don't know. Game number 12 takes out Chris Kuman. PJ Gonick pulls up. Ooh. Mark fights for that rebound. <laughs> Villamer drives in. Once again, Danamora breaks down the court. Ooh! That was Tom Appear on the drive, and he was hacked by Pat Nixon. Tom will now shoot two. Rebound by Eric. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know quite what happened there. Apparently a foul on Shazy. Probably on Dave Kip. Mark Tisdale or Dave Kip. Shot by Eric is off, but rebounded by Pat Oh, look at them fighting. Still Danamora ball. <laughs> White ball. Castle Pier. Ooh, no foul. By number 30. No, number 30. Mike Dixon. <laughs> Tisdale to inbound the ball. Mark on a drive.
Danamara slowing down their offense a bit. Craigera kind of drive up and ooh, rebounded by Villamere. Nice pass by Eric to Dixon. Villamere going down. Oh, that's all. Ooh. Still fighting for that ball. Fifty six seconds left. Danamora stalling on their offense. 16 seconds left. <laughs> Open layup. Oh man. Oh, hip check by Villamere. I like to take this moment to invite anyone and everyone to the Shazy Girls basketball game on Saturday against E Town. It's the biggest game of our season. The JV will start at three, varsity right after. Come down and watch. It'll be a great physical game. I believe me. Uh, Mike Dixon at the foul line. <laughs> Line violation by Dixon. White ball on the side. Seven seconds left. Let's see if Shazy can get a shot off here. Yes, yes, yes. Lapeer. Rebound, still shot, and in! Yes! Excellent play by Tom Lapeer. Signing off now. Laura Lafayette. Tammy St. Louis. I have no idea what just transpired. I hope it wasn't uh, too outlandish. I want to thank Lori Lapeer and Tammy St. Louis for filling in. in to start the fourth quarter. They lead 54-31. I've got to get my microphone back in place. A very dangerous maneuver for me to allow somebody else to do the play-by-play. By handling the camera and doing the play-by-play -play at the same time, I can always Use one as a crutch against the other. I could always say I could do a better job with the camera if I didn't have to do the play-by-play, -play, and I could do a better play-by-play -play if I wasn't handling the camera. But with somebody else doing the play-by-play, -play, my camera work stands out there all by itself with no excuses. This is Lapierre at the foul line. He's going to shoot. Takes the first of one and one. 54-32 with 7.51 remaining in the ball game. Hit them both, 54-33. Down 
the pier. Tisdale with a long one. Nice pass from West, but that was blocked. Layup up and in by Dixon. Kip has it knocked away. Pat Dixon with a long pass up ahead to Mike Dixon, and there's a layup and a basket. Check the scorebook at halftime to see what the score was when Shazy visited Denimore. I believe it said 79-57. Denimore took home a 20 or stayed home with a 22-point win on that slippery night. So is Mike Dixon at the foul line. Don't fall asleep, Rock. Get paid to work, not play. Crazy ball. Fifty-eight, thirty-three. Aramora with a steal. This is Pombrio. An extra pump there, looking for a foul, but there was none coming. 60-33, 27 point advantage for the visitors. Blades will toss it in. Not quite sure what the problem was there, but it's a turnover. Pombrio, no good. Side. Basket up and in by Jamie Wright. Excuse me, uh, Pat Patnode. I was looking at the JV lineup. Chip Ladd in the ball game for for Shazy. Gabriel will toss it in. West called for a foul, I believe. Five minutes and 44 seconds left in the game. 62-33, the score. Uh, Craig Eric down and number 31 Gary Donovan reports in for Denimora. The Knights now lead by 30, 63 33. And Patnode gets another from the charity stripe. Here, no good. Step alive, Blaze comes away. Condek hangs on to it. Bank shot by Donovan. 66-33, 33 point advantage for Danamara. And number 
45, Steve Pierce reports in. He's going to replace Pat Dixon. We have Rob Landry coming in for Tom Lapierre for Shay Z. will count. Patnold with a chance for a three-point play. One more Coach Leahy clearing the bench off. One by one. Darren Waitman is in the game now, number 24. And we have Huckaba reporting in. He's going to replace Hatnold. <laughs> Huckaba with the rebound. Combrio brings it down. So alley oop with too much alley and not enough oop. And Gondek hits. Kip comes in and John Gravel. Mark Blaze sits and PJ Gondek will sit. Kilman will toss it into Gravel. We have Rob Landry, Neil West, and Toby Kip also in the lineup for Shay Z. on West. So Huckabaugh will go to the foul line. It's the first. 70-35. Tips it in. Pierce with the rebound. 72 35, 255 to go in the game. West with a steal. This is off to Kuhlman. No oh good. Rebound. Landry tied up. It'll be a jump ball. And it's Shazy's turn. And we have Steve Monte and Todd Hostler reporting in to replace Kuhlman and West. Toby Kip short. No good. 
down Monte gives it to Ravel. Hosler, yes. Basket by Todd Hosler makes it 72 37. With two minutes and seven seconds remaining in the ball game. I don't have any kind of a idea. I haven't been told of. Oh, Huckabay is. He looks to be about 6'7", I would say, out there. Really hard to tell. You don't run across people that height all that often around here. Minute 20 to go. 74-37. Elmore continues to score two points for every one that Shazi puts in. Minute 10 left in the game. Kobe Kip, no good. We're down Huckabar. Up ahead, a layup. That's Darren Waitman. Yeah, shoot the ball! 52 seconds to go. Oh, that's not no good. Huckabout with the board. Out to Waitman again. Waitman off the glass. No good. Huckabout. Whoa, nice play. Sam Huckabout with a nice play on that one. 78-37. A long one by Toby Kip. 78-39. Fourteen seconds left in the game. It's Shazie's ball. Landry crosses to Gravel. Talk about with a block and a steal. Talk about wanting to end the game with a slam dunk. Ravel probably should have let him do it. <laughs> Would have been an interesting way to end the game. Instead, with two seconds to go, Huckabaw will be at the foul line. He hits. 79-39. 80 to 39. There's the horn, and there's the ball game. So 80 to 39 is our final score. Again, our thanks to Lori Lafave and Tammy St. Louis for filling in during the third quarter for us. Nanamore Knights, the victors, defeating easily the Shazy Eagles.